What's up y'all, it's your girl Brittany Diego and one of the things I wish I learned when I was in fashion school was what to wear to a fashion industry job interview. I did so many internships in college and every time I had an interview I would be stressed out not just about the questions but about what to wear. Because you see, the fashion industry is so unique. There's room for creativity because it's a creative industry, but how much is too much? But at the same time, you don't want to look too businessy like you're interviewing for an accountant position. No shade to the accountants if for some reason you're watching this video. But as we all know, first impressions are everything, especially in the fashion industry. I've landed some amazing roles at places like BCBG, Revolve, Just Fab, and many more. I've been on my fair share of fashion industry job interviews, so I've definitely learned a thing or two about what works and what doesn't. In this video, I'm going to share with you some outfit ideas for your next fashion industry job interview. A pencil skirt is one of my go-to interview items. It's a classic wardrobe piece that everyone should have in their wardrobe. Now I did say that this was outfit inspiration, so I definitely recommend getting a little longer pencil skirt, one that's at or below the knee. Yes, fashion is a creative industry, but at the end of the day, it's still very much a business, so you wanna mitigate any potential malfunctions. So I paired this houndstooth pencil skirt with a classic white bodysuit. Now to make it more interview appropriate, I'd pair it with a classic black blazer. You absolutely can't go wrong with a blazer. This is another one of those must have staple wardrobe items. A blazer can really bring together an outfit and make it look more polished. Sometimes I'll even throw one over my casual outfit like a jeans and t-shirt to make myself look more put together in an instant. Here's another option with that same bodysuit. If you're like me and live for a pop of color, then this one's for you. It's bold and eye-catching, but still very professional. I mean, I don't think it gets any more professional than a pair of pleated trousers. <laughs> so one thing about me, I'm always gonna add an accessory of some type. Statement jewelry is a great way to be remembered and a great conversation starter. Or if you're more on the minimalist side, a simple touch of jewelry will do just fine. That's cute, but I just know that I'm extra when it comes to jewelry. I mean, I keep an emergency pair of hoop earrings in the car, but that's a story for another day. This next look is a play on the classic button-up collar shirt. I'm obsessed with prints and I feel like this one stands out just enough without being too much. So I decided to tuck it into the pants and of course add my statement jewelry on top. I was not joking when I told y'all I'm obsessed with jewelry, particularly gold. Anyways, I would wear this if I was interviewing for a very fashion forward, edgy fashion brand. It's important to know what the aesthetic is of the company that you're interviewing for and keep that in mind when choosing your outfit. So if you're interviewing for a boho company, let's just say for Love and Lemons, you're gonna wanna match that aesthetic. You probably won't wear something like this because the leather pants doesn't exactly demonstrate that you have a clear understanding of who their girl is or who their core customer is. So you actually want to dress like you shop at that brand or at least like you understand what their aesthetic is. So let's say you're interviewing at an athletic brand like Nike or Adidas. You probably wouldn't wear something like this or much less the pencil skirt. You might end up wearing a jumpsuit or a trouser and a blouse. But if you were interviewing at a more minimalist brand, then this would be appropriate. Now again, you always have the option to throw on a blazer to make yourself look more put together. I particularly love this one because it creates this beautiful peplum silhouette. It cinches at the waist and it's very feminine and chic. I wanted to create a color blocking moment with this one so what I did was I tugged the sleeves of the dress underneath the blazer, pulled it down, and let the white sleeve peek under the black just for a little pop. It's a subtle fit but it makes such a statement. I mean you can definitely see the contrast here. Or if that's not your thing then you can always just wear it rolled up. Now let's talk about one of my favorite topics, which is jewelry. When it comes to job interviews, I typically stick to the studs to drop earrings range. With this particular outfit, I'm wearing these beautiful drop pearl earrings, which I think are a great twist on the classic pearl earrings. 
Here's a little close up. You can see that they definitely stand out and they're really cute, but they're not doing the most. It's not too much and that's key. You gotta always have that balance between professional and stylish. All right, on to the next look, which is one of my absolute favorites because you literally cannot go wrong with black. It is the most flattering color on everybody. Side note, I own a ridiculous amount of blazers and this is actually a blazer dress, so that obsession just kind of evolved. <laughs> so I love this look because it's simple and again, it stands out with the gold buttons and ruching. So a blazer dress is definitely another great option. Again, I'd suggest opting for a longer length dress, but you get where I'm going with this look. Another thing is if the neckline is too low for you, you can always layer a camisole underneath or something like a turtleneck for a more conservative look. The one thing we haven't discussed yet are shoes. Now, when it comes to shoes for an interview, I always stick to a classic. I would never actually wear a stiletto heel, but I had to give y'all looks for this video, so that's the only reason why I'm wearing them here. But in real life, a black pump heel is the way to go, or if you're not into heels, you can always do a loafer or a ballet flat. If you'd like to add even more modesty to your look, you can always add on an additional layer like a cardigan. So in this look, I took that same turtleneck and I paired it with the leather pants from earlier for a sleek all black look. I then paired it with a pair of pointy toe black pumps. I'm telling y'all, all black is undefeated. So like I said earlier, I have a ridiculous amount of blazers for some reason <laughs> in all different colors, prints, you name it. So to take this all black look up a couple notches, I decided to pair it with this leopard or cheetah or I don't know, I grew up on the cheetah girl so I'm just going to say this cheetah print blazer to take it to the next level. And again, feel free to style your outfit by tugging down the sleeves and leaving them out for a little bit of contrast. If prints aren't really your thing, no problem at all. You can always stick to solids, you can't go wrong. One thing I do with this blazer is I would actually change out the buttons. These aren't really my favorite. So if you have basic sewing skills or if you're a designer or just really crafty, you can always go to a store like Joann's or Michael's or your local fashion district and get new buttons that'll make your blazer stand out and unique. You'd be surprised at how changing such a small detail like a button can really elevate and make your blazer, or any garment for that matter, look more expensive than it is. Like the saying goes, it's all in the details. Speaking of details, I am obsessed with this. This is actually another blazer, <laughs> but it looks like a blouse. I'm in love with the sleeves and I had to have it the moment that I saw it. Plus it checks off all my boxes. It's professional, yet stylish and unique. This blazer actually came with a matching green striped belt, but I decided to add my own flair, of course, with the gold. So as you could tell by now, I love a monochromatic moment when your top and bottom are the same color, but it doesn't have to be boring at all. One piece can be a print and one piece can be solid. And you already know where I'm going next. I'd add this silver statement necklace because it goes really well with the cool blue tones in this outfit. I'd also roll up the sleeves for a more sophisticated look. I'm telling you, styling yourself even in the most subtle ways can make all of the difference. Alright, so I've given you trousers, bodysuits, button-ups. So here's another blazer dress to round it up for good measure. I especially love this one because it's giving me 80s working girl vibes. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Google that after you finish this video. Knowing your references is crucial for your fashion industry success. With this particular dress, I actually wouldn't do too much as far as accessorizing. I'd just do a simple stud earring because this brown plaid print is doing all the talking. So let me know in the comments below, what's your go-to interview outfit? Better yet, what's your dream company that you'd like to interview for? You better go ahead and speak that into existence in the comments below. Can't wait to read them. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to share this video if you care. No matter what your style is, just remember the bottom line is you always want to maintain that balance between professional and trendy.
I can't stress the importance of doing your research, getting crystal clear on their customer base and their signature style, and dress the part. Dress like you already worked there. That'll help them easily envision you working there, which is actually half of what it all comes down to. So go out there and make me proud.